everyone. So for quarter four week two of mathematics time, we will be discussing about the trigonometric ratios of special angles. So let's have first a recall of the special uh, formulas that we have for the six trigonometric ratios in which we discussed last week. So let's have first a formula for sine that is opposite side over the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite side over the adjacent. The secondary trigonometric ratios cosecond, second, and cotangent are just reciprocal of our primary trigonometric ratios. Cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite, which is the reciprocal of sine. Second is hypotenuse over adjacent, which is the reciprocal of cosine. And cotangent is adjacent over the opposite, which is the reciprocal of our tangent. So we are going to use all these formulas to find the six trigonometric ratios of your 30, 60, 45 angles or our special angles. So here's the objective for our session for today. So at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to recall the six trigonometric ratios formula. We are going to use this Special right triangle theorem for 30, 60, 90 and 45, 45, 90 to find the six trigonometric ratio of 30, 60 and 45 degree angle. And finally, evaluate values using the six trigonometric ratio of 30, 60 and 45 degree. Let's recall first again your special right triangles. So remember on our 30, 60, 90 triangle, we have your smaller leg your longer leg and then or your shorter leg longer leg and your hypotenuse if the value of our shorter leg is a the hypotenuse is twice that shorter leg so that is 2a and our longer leg is a square root of 3 we are going to use these values to find the six trigonometric ratios of our 30 degree and our 60 degree angle so let's start off with finding the six trigonometric ratios of our 30 and 60 degree angle. So remember the value for your sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second, and cotangent using our Sokatoa and Choshakao. So let's start first with finding our sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second, and cotangent. So let's have first the value of your sine 30 degrees. The value of your sign is opposite over hypotenuse. Looking at 30 degree angle, if we are going to look here at our 30 degree angle, okay, the value of our opposite is A and our hypotenuse is 2A. So that means the value of our sign is A over 2A. And if we are going to simplify that, we're going to cancel our A. So, the value of sine 30 degrees is 1 half. Looking naman at the adjacent and hypotenuse for your cosine, the adjacent for 30 degrees is a square root of 3 and the hypotenuse is still 2a. So, we're going to have a square root of 3 over 2a. Again, we cancel this a. So, we're going to have square root of 3 over 2 as our cosine 30. For our tangent, our formula is opposite over adjacent. The opposite is a and our adjacent is a square root of 3. So we are going to have a over a square root of 3. If we are going to cancel your a, we're going to have 1 over square root of 3. Now how did we get that square root of 3 over 3? So we are going to rationalize, multiply both 1 and square root of 3 by square root of 3. So we're going to have square root of 3 over square root of 9 and the square root of 9 is 3. So our final answer is square root of 3 over 3. Now we're going to have now the secondary. Cosecant is hypotenuse over the opposite. Hypotenuse is 2a and the opposite of 30 is a. So we're going to have 2a over a. So, cancel our A. So, the value of cosecant 30 is 2. For second 30, it's hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse again is 2A, 2A and the adjacent is A square root of 3. So, we're going to have 2A over A square root of 3. Cancel our A. So, we're going to have 2 over square root of 3. And then, 
we're going to count our uh, multiply again by square root of 3. That's going to be 2 square root of 3 over 3. Finally, for our cotangent, we're going to have adjacent over the opposite. The adjacent of 30 is a square root of 3 and the opposite is a. So we're going to have a square root of 3 over a. Cancel a. So we're just going to have a value of square root of 3. So these are the six trigonometric ratios for your 30 degree angle. So again, for your 30 degree angle, if this is the value and using our Sokatoa and Choshakao, the six trigonometric ratios are the following. So remember that for our uh, next activities, we will be using those values. Let's proceed now with your 60 degree angle. So for your 60 degree angle, looking again at our Sokatoa and Choshakao, where we going, uh, going to get the sine, cosine, and tangent, cosecant, second, and cotangent. Again, to find your sine, look first for your reference angle. So this time, our reference angle is at 60 degrees. So if this is our reference angle and our formula for sine is opposite over hypotenuse, our opposite is a square root of 3 and our hypotenuse is still 2a. So we're going to have a square root of 3 over 2a. Cancel again our a, so we're going to have square root of 3 over 2 as the value of our sine 60 degrees. For our cosine, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent of 60 is a, and the hypotenuse is still 2a. So we're going to have a over 2a. Cancel again our a, so we're going to have 1 half as the value of our cosine 60. Then for tangent, that is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is a square root of 3 and our adjacent is a. So that's a square root of 3 over a. Cancel our a. So our answer will be square root of 3. So tangent 60 is equal to square root of 3. Let's proceed with the secondary. The cosecant is hypotenuse over the opposite. Hypotenuse is 2a. And our opposite is a square root of 3. So we're going to have 2a over a square root of 3. Cancel our a. So that's going to be 2 over square root of 3. Rationalize again by multiplying square root of 3 on both numerator and denominator. So we are going to have 2 square root of 3 over 3. Second, we have hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse is 2a. Adjacent is a at a, so we're going to have 2a over a. Cancel our a, so that's going to be 2. So second 60 is equal to 2. Next, cotangent 60, we're going to have opposite, uh, adjacent over the opposite. Our adjacent is a, and our opposite is a square root of 3. So we're going to have a over a square root of 3. And that's going to be equivalent to 1 over square root of 3. Then we rationalize again. That's why we're going to have square root of 3 over 3. So here are the six trigonometric ratios for your 60 degree angle. So again, here's our a triangle with the following values for 30, 60. So that's going to be equivalent to... Square root of 3 over 2, 1 half square root of 3, 2 square root of 3 over 3, 2 and square root of 3 over 3. So that is for our 60 degree angle. We proceed now with our 45 degree angle. So for our 45, 45, if we are going to remember, here is the values of our legs and hypotenuse. If the value of our legs is A, the hypotenuse is A square root of 2. So using those values, we're going to have, if this is 45 and 45, you're going to have a values of a and a square root of 2. Using again Sokatoa and Choshakao, let's find the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second, and cotangent of 45 degree angle. First, for sine 45, so either of the two angles, it's just the same as 45 degree. The opposite is a and the hypotenuse is a square root of 2. So, that's going to be 1 over square root of 2. And if we're going to rationalize, that's square root of 2 over 2. Multiply numerator and denominator by square root of 2. 
cosec. A cosine is just the same because that's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is A and the hypotenuse is A square root of 2. Rationalize again, so that's going to be square root of 2 over 2. For our tangent, the opposite is A and the adjacent is A. So that's A over A, or that's just equivalent to 1. And for cosecant, we're just going to have the reciprocal of this. So it's going to be A square root of 2 over A. Cancel our A, so that's going to be square root of 2. The same for second. The second is A square root of 2 over A. That's just the reciprocal of cosine. So that's going to be square root of 2 again. For cotangent, opposite and adjacent are both A. So that's just equivalent to 1. So these are the six trigonometric ratios for your 45 degree angle. Here is there a summary for your 45 degree angle. There. So we have square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, 1, square root of 2 both for cosecant and second, and for cosecant is 1. So let's have a summary of our 30, 60, and 45 degree angle values of sine, cosine. For this activity, I would like you to pause first this video. I would like you to complete the table on your own. Get a piece of paper and complete the six trigonometric ratios for 30, 60, and 45 degree angle. So pause first for at least uh, 10 minutes before you play it again. I hope you have paused and have written all your six trigonometric ratios. Take a look if your answers are correct. For 30 degree angle, we have the following values of your Sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, and second. So for your sine, we have one half, cosine, square root of 3 over 2, tangent, square root of 3 over 3. So we have cosecant, which is 2, our second, which is 2 square root of 3 over 3, and for our cotangent, that is square root of 3. So let's proceed with your 60 degree angle. The sine is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine is 1 half. Tangent is square root of 3. Cosecant, we have 2 square root of 3 over 3. Second is 2. Cotangent is square root of 3 over 3. For 45, we have sine is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine is square root of 2 over 2. Tangent is 1. Cosecant is square root of 2. Second is square root of 2 and cotangent is 1. So let's use these values to be able to find and evaluate some uh, values using the 30, 60, and 45 degree angle. So let's start with evaluating these values. Let's have the evaluating of the trigonometric ratios. Let's start with Finding, for example, sine 30 degrees plus tangent 45. On your table, find the value of sine 30 degrees. So our sine 30 is 1 half. Our tangent 45 is 1. So if we are going to add 1 half plus 1, that's equivalent to 3 over 2. So our final answer here is 3 over 2. Let's have the next example. If we have 5 second 60 plus 4 cosine 30 degrees. So we're going to have 5. The value of our second 60 degrees is 2 plus, we write first our 4, our cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2. So 5 times 2, that's 10, plus 4 times square root of 3 over 3, 2, we cancel first yung 2 sa denominator, so that's 2 square root of 3. And now we cannot add 10 and your 2 square root of 3, so this will already be our final answer. Because we cannot combine a non-radical with a radical value. So let's proceed. What if we have to multiply? We have here cosine 60. That's equivalent to 1 half. Our 6 tangent 45. So that's we're going to be 6. Tangent 45 is 1. So 6 times 1, that is 6. And 1 half times 6 is equivalent to 3. Let's have our next example. Let's have cotangent squared 30 degrees minus 6 cosecant squared 45 degrees. So first, let's have first the value of cotangent 30 
30 degrees. So the value of our cotangent 30 degrees is square root of 3. We have the square of that value. Then minus 6, the value of cosecant 45 is square root of 2. And we have the squared. So square root of 3 squared, we're just going to cancel the radical sign that's equivalent to 3. Minus 6, then we're just going to cancel also the radical sign, so that's 2. So they're going to have 3. 6 times 2 is 12. So 3 minus 12, the value of our cotangent squared 30 minus 6 cosecant squared 45 degrees is equal to negative 9. So that will be our final answer. So let's have our last example. So we have here division. 5 cosecant 30 degrees divided by 2 cotangent 45 degrees. So let's have first cosecant 30. That is equivalent to 2. And then we have here our cotangent 45. That is equivalent to 1. So we're going to have 5 times 2. That's 10. 2 times 1. That's 2. So 10 divided by 2, our final answer here will be 5. So that's how we're going to evaluate your trigonometric ratios of your special angles. So I hope you were able to understand our lesson for this week. Thank you and God bless everyone.